Welcome to the testing world. In this session, I'll show you how we can do performance testing of the REST API with delete method. So delete method is used to delete some data from the server. So for this example, for this scenario, I'm going to take an example like I have a defect which is reported in Jira with the ID AUT6. So that's my defect. I want to delete this defect from the Jira. So to delete any defect, uh, we have a URI for deleting any issue in Jira. So I'm just copying it and going to my Jira. So first of all, here I'm creating a thread group giving like performance rest performance delete and I'm going to add a sampler I'm doing the same changes which we have already seen in the last session uh, here my IP because it's Jira is installed on my local system and all the APIs I'm going to hit which are available in my local system so I'm just passing localhost over here and if you have any other system so we can pass IP of that system port number it 8080 we can check it in the URI so that's my URI and the port number is 8080 rest part of the URI is placed here in the path we need to use delete method so I'm just using delete implementation is always Java so I'm setting Java here we need to pass ID of the defect so I'm just passing AUT6 you can check it again it was AUT-6 again we have seen to access Jira we need to go for the authentication we have to set the authentication we have to give the username and the password so for setting the authentication I'm adding config element which is HTTP authorization manager again click on add we need to define the base URL so that's my URL of the API that's a base URL of the API I just copied it username so I'm giving my username this username is of Jira username because we are going to hit Jira server so that's my username and we need to enter password I have set the password over here I'm going to add a listener which will show my result and everything is done I'm just going to execute this here we see HTTP request is passed if we go to the response we are not getting any response data from here everything seems to be okay because we are getting some response from the server I'm just going to the UI before we had this defect I'm just refreshing it so it shows this defect does not exist so if I check it over here AUT6 which I have deleted does not exist if we check like I have one more defect AUT7 I'm just checking it AUT7 so as of now we are getting this data I'm going to the Jira I'm changing the defect ID which is AUT7 clearing previous result running it again it is passed means this defect should be removed from the Jira I'm just going to the Jira I'm refreshing and again you will check AUT7 is deleted I'm just searching it here and we are not getting it so if we want to delete something on the server we are going to use delete method and here we have created a HTTP request or I'll say we are hitting a REST API with delete method. We have already seen in case of get and delete, we need not to pass body. But in case of put and post, we need to enter some data into the body. So this data, this input data could be JSON format or maybe XML format. So here we have covered all the four methods which are available on the REST API. So that's all we have for this session. Thanks for watching this video.